people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome back to another news video. Today we're talking about the brand new Poppy Playtime game that just got revealed the other day. We've got two trailers to react to and analyze and also a Steam page to break down and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. So without further ado, I'm very excited to check out these trailers and I'd say let's not waste any more time. If you're brand new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing while you're down there. Hit the like button and let's start this video off by checking out the official cinematic trailer for the brand new Poppy Playtime multiplayer game called Project Playtime. So we got Bra on the dinosaur, dead on the floor as always, and these are our Among Us crewmates, <laughs> as Twitter has been freaking out about. Hello, Huggy. The animation's so good. <laughs> yeah, that'll shut him up. Oh my god. He's dead. And there's the real Huggy. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that's awful. It looks so good. Jeez, dude, he just, he's going straight for them. He's a menace. Sweet. Train station up ahead. There's mommy. Maintenance vehicle. Ah, safety at last. I recognize that box, though. Why would you stand there is my question. Ooh. <laughs> Ew, the sound effects. But this is our brand new character. <laughs> and just like that, We've lost out all our workers. They've succumbed to the creatures inside of Poppy Playtime. Such a sick logo, too. And there it is, December 6th. So in like two weeks, it is gonna be early access, but we'll get to that once we take a look at the Steam page. But now, Let's take a look at the gameplay trailer, which I'm very excited to check out, because like I said, I've actually not seen it yet. I've not seen that, nor any screenshots. But here we go, Project Playtime official gameplay trailer. Let's Hi take there. let's take a look. Oh! Leif Pierre. And welcome to your job as a resource extraction specialist. <clears throat> oh! You need to collect toy parts to make a giant toy. Get that giant toy on the train, then leave. Ooh, I love the UI. Right. Hiding. Gotcha. Stick together. Ooh, first and third person. You can see it cut out of Boxy Boo. That's his official name. There he is. Wait, it actually looks so good. Oh, there's Mommy Long Legs in action. Wait, that gameplay's awesome. We're gonna have to take a better look at it. We didn't take a close look at the cinematic trailer just because, well, there was a bunch of cinematics, but this one, I definitely want to dissect a bit. So we start off with Laith Pierre. Hi there, my name's Laith Pierre. Interesting, I wonder if he's actually gonna be uh, like an announcer in the game. Celebrating 60 years of Playtime Co, it looks like. And you can see like Bonzo Bunny and Brawn. I don't know if they were planned enemies for later on in the game's development. Because I think on the 6th of uh, next month, it's just going to be early access. And we have only Huggy, Mommy Long Legs, and the brand new Boxy Boo character. But anyways. Welcome to your job as a resource extraction specialist. Okay, so we are extraction specialist. Look at this environment. Oh my god, this is so cool. You need to collect toy parts to I'm just going to listen toy. to him. Get that giant toy on the train, then leave. Simple, right? 
Okay, so we need to go around, looks like find uh, up to six pieces for a toy, a cat bee toy, and then leave by exiting on the train. That's interesting. We can see a giant theater. This this uh, contraption, this machine we saw here too. Here's the toy uh, machine deposit. And you can see once we put it in, it gets checked off on our on our UI at the top. Okay, guessing this is another area. We can hide. We can also see our health down here. And if we press R, it looks like we can bring up a another panel or menu. But we hide from Huggy. Oh no, that's Boxy. Never mind, sorry. Stick together. And it looks like, yeah, so we can go in first or third person. And we have up to six players on our team, I believe it said. Looks like we can also set a time limit as well. Okay. And also, I'll, I'll move my cam quickly, but you can see our objectives at the top. Collect toy parts and uh, find the puzzle pillar. So it looks like this may be a mini game we have to play to get a toy. Not entirely sure. Mm, yeah, because this looks like Simon Says. Okay, so we play mini games to get toy parts. 15 minutes now. Play both sides. So here are the different characters we can play as. Boxy Boo, who is a brand new character. Not sure if they're only going to be in Project Playtime, or maybe they'll make an, uh, an appearance in Chapter 3 once that comes out next year. There he is in action. Dude, he looks so sick. I love his design, actually. Look at that. Huggy just freaking out. Uh, help solve the puzzle. Okay, so we need three people to help solve this puzzle. So a lot of cooperation, it seems like. Mommy... Okay, so Mommy can, like, attach onto ceilings and walls. So they have different abilities. Looks like Boxy Boo can jump up high and pounce down. There's Mommy. And I guess the all the players at the bottom, it'll tell you if they are alive or not. This minigame we've seen in Chapter 2. So, again, maybe another minigame we have to play to get a part for... Uh, looks like this is the Boogie Bot. And some sort of night vision for... That looks like Mommy's hands. Yeah, so some some sort of night vision. Oh, yeah, and you can see the different abilities down here. So night vision looks like a web that we can maybe stick characters in and they get stuck and they can't move for a little bit. And it will also tell the enemies at the top how many toys have been collected. Pounce down. Look at this. Yeah, so cosmetics are a big part of this game. We'll get to that at the Steam page. You can see Boxy jumping down from the theater. It looks like such fun. I love this. Can't escape. Yeah, so you can actually pull down the doors. That we saw in the cinematic trailer. And there's the train. Oh, so close. But it's too late. Alright, so now let's take a look at the uh, Steam page for the game. Starting off with, I believe these are the two trailers we just looked at. So, now let's move on to some screenshots. Looks like we've got Huggy standing inside of a storage area. Different stuff on the shelves. Nothing too, too exciting. But god dang, does he look creepy. Here's a gameplay screenshot of our characters. Looks like you can get a mommy long legs. Uh, back bling. You can see the toy machine deposit as well. This is a good look at the theater area, the cinema. Oh, damn. The environments look freaking incredible. I'll say that. Oh, the screenshot has us playing as Boxy Boo. You can see his claws and his abilities down at the bottom right. Can't tell exactly what they do. Looks like some sort of like claw ability. I'm guessing it's just a powerful like swipe and it's one hit or something. Here's a good look at Boxy Boo. Oh my god, dude. He looks insane. His mouth is absolutely terrifying. And I love the uh, the springs for limbs. That's that's a good touch. So it looks like you can get uh, Huggy styled avatars or characters you can play as. Wow. Do they look like something? And again, a Huggy back bling, a Boxy Boo back bling. This is the area that we played the, um, the mini game where you have to throw your hands on Huggy as they emerge from the holes in the wall. So again, I feel like this is probably... I actually don't see an exit, but I I'm assuming this is part of the main game to get a piece of a toy. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Another character all cosmetic up, being chased by Boxy Boo. And the final screenshot is just another screenshot of an environment. <laughs> But that is a full deep dive into the brand new Poppy Playtime multiplayer spin-off game, Project Playtime. I'm much looking forward to it. I think it has a lot of potential. My main issue or my main worry is that they release it and then not really do many updates. Like they say they're only adding one more map in the full release. They also don't say any more characters are coming. 
I don't know. I, I feel like there there's a lot of potential here. There really, really is. I just want them to go like full in on it. But I also don't know how, how long they're going to support the game, you know? So I just really don't want them to like drop it and then like half a year later no new maps no new characters that would really suck but yeah that's project playtime i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below are you gonna be playing it i know for a fact i will be in fact i've already got a pretty stacked group to play it with so be on the lookout for that when it drops uh next month and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye